today we are installing this weeping tile. Now don't watch as I try and get out of here. Today's video covers the process of how we installed non-perforated weeping tile. To get things started, you're going to need to dig a trench for placing the weeping tile in, beginning at your downspout. I naively thought I could hand trench through the packed clay and rocks, but thankfully the cavalry arrived to put me out of my misery. We dug the trench approximately 16 inches deep with a constant slope away from the house. Next, we remove the downspout extensions. By installing underground weeping tile or a French drain system, you move water away from your home. This is important to help reduce erosion in your yard and also protect the foundation of your home. As part of this project, we've connected these two downspouts. This was done by simply clicking together this T-fitting and then liberally applying tape. Now, with the downspouts draining into our newly installed weeping tile, our T-joint in place, and the tile laid across the trench, it's time to fill it all in. Shortly after wrapping up this project, we had an extreme rainfall event and noticed that the rainwater discharge at the end of the weeping tile created a little pocket of erosion. To stabilize the soil and prevent future erosion, we cleared away some of the rocks below the weeping tile and installed geotextile landscaping fabric. mistakes and do this part first. You'll definitely save yourself some manual labor. And there you have it. This non-perforated weeping tile installation is really straightforward. It looks good and it's really functional. It is a bit labor intensive, so if you have a long way to trench, I strongly recommend using a little bit more than just muscle power. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by clicking that thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to keep up with all our projects here at The Hill.